<clears throat> Most people in America are concerned with their own lives. They're not always concerned with other people's lives. The role and purpose of networking in business in a community, if the networking continues to go on, is to help other people to see other people's lives. The problem is that a lot of times people don't see their life any differently. They've spent all their life doing one type of work, and so they never stop to think, could I do anything else and my family thrive? Could I do anything else in my work and literally not die? And openly, could I be in any other place in America and thrive? Now, when we ask those questions, the answer is, of course, a moratory, yes, but it's always about who you're with and when you go and how the timing impacts the show. You see, the show is much what must go on, according to Hollywood. But what we've seen in the news of late is that many actors and actresses are coming forward based on abuse. Now, nobody really wants to talk about abuse, and that's pretty clear with politicians. But at the same time, we have politicians doing satirical renditions because sometimes the abuse comes from police officers, law, enforce off law enforcement officers, and people who are using an abuse of power. An abuse of power is locking someone in a tower and not giving them the right to say no. An abuse of power is someone who decides to practice treason without any real sanctioned reason and utilize a mental health concept which is openly a lie, a blatantly a lie, to try to reprogram someone to doing something else or to program someone like the military does, as we saw in Universal Soldier, to kill people. Because Americans' nature Human nature is not really set up in general, especially in American society, to kill people. But if we're allowing people into our society and our communities who are raised in nations that kill people, we've got a real problem because squelching the life of a human being is not the same as squelching the life of a bug. But there are some predatory nations that think it is. The time of COVID is not only operating our military operational situations. It's also requiring, in a way, our United Nations status, the development of a, a placebo or the development of a disease, disease controller. And I'm not really thinking of the right words in English because sometimes my mind doesn't work as well as it once should. You see, once you've stayed in Marion County Jail of Indianapolis, you might end up, end up functioning the same afterwards. At the same time, you might be stalked and impeded by the sheriff who likes to gossip like girls and ruin your life. You see, the one place that a lot of these people who are not considered right for society back way back when, maybe 20, 30 years ago, decided to go was into law enforcement. And while they were openly accepted because they were pretty tough as a butch-like lesbian, today they might not be so accepted. It's not that people give a shit with your sexuality, it certainly isn't a matter that people are selfish enough to care about who you love. What they get upset about is the abuses that they see in communities and the total lack of compassion for people who are being, well, abused. In America, there are plenty types of abuses. They go run the gamut from emotional abuse to intellectual abuse to psychological abuse and gaslighting where someone's trying to push your buttons all the time so you get pissed off and do something foolish. Then, of course, there's physical abuse, which we're all quite familiar with, where the parents poorly discipline their children, mainly because the parent is overtaxed, underemployed, and has never taken a, the least bit of fucking attention in figuring out how to raise a boy or a girl. And both situations is different. Now, recently I've been reading articles in the news about these marvelous college-oriented people who want to raise their child without gender stipulations. I think, well... That's marvelous, but how are they going to function in society, and what are you allowing them to pick? But that's sort of the entire point of their notoriety of their article, is that they're trying to let the child pick who they are. And I appreciate that. But what are we teaching the child about how to function in society is something else entirely. But then, of course, there's finally a sexual abuse, which includes, of course, incest and rape. And that's when someone inappropriately touches you without your consent. Now, all these abuses, and there's others like technological abuse, or there's situations like stalking, which is a subtle form of harassment, but usually it's somebody sending you all sorts of warped shit and always being on top of your life and always being next to you all the time. But there are other people that will claim that someone is stalking, which is a total blatant lie, so it totally ruins what people grasp about what is and isn't stalking. Then there's something called community policing, and that is a form of mobbing. 
Some of the brightest minds in the world have been mobbed to death by communities who got a lot of lying information about them. We can take it back to Salem witch trials, which is precisely what was happening back then, but we can be pretty upset with Joe Biden about this new concept of community policing because what it's doing is it's bringing out the concept of Batman almost until the end, where police have more power than the regular military. And that, for most people in the military and most people in society, is not okay. Because we don't see people coming out of those programs with a lot of information about how to be an international citizen and how to work for America, Inc. What we see coming out of those situations are people who spent 300 and some dollars just to become a sheriff and don't have any real training of how to de-escalate a system, how, how to enjoy and appreciate people of different situations, and how to get people to tell them one thing. 